Okay, dude, don't throw your herpes at me. That shit's not cool. And I'm almost out of stasis. I'm going to be everybody's problem. Howdy, howdy, everyone. How's it going tonight? Hope everybody's having a good, uh, Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Anywho, I think it's Tuesday. I'm going to go with Tuesday. I hope you're all having a lovely Tuesday. We're back with more L.A. Noir, which uh, is just a heads up. Well, actually, we'll get into that in a moment. There's going to be a content warning for this one because I looked to see what the first, how many more cases I have in, um, in uh, automotive before we get to the next desk. And uh, I saw what the next case was, and it is not a not a soft one. But we're uh, we're back. I hope uh, everybody's having a good weekend. We are uh, getting a horrible storm right now, um, like a real bad storm. So hopefully everything stays roughly. Uh, roughly um together but we might have a cutout or two um hopefully i'll notice i got the monitor down here so hopefully it'll keep me apprised um but as always you can find me at any one of these places up here or the easily clickable links right there in the chat or down in the description below if you're watching this in the future on the youtube which by the way if you watch on the youtube thank you i appreciate you um, like I was saying a moment ago, this one's going to have a lot of, uh, things that people may find kind of triggering. Um, violence against women, um, sexual assault, um, violence against minors, um, sexual assault of minors, like, there's a lot going on in this one, um, so hopefully, like, it's not great, um, like I said, I don't know how quickly it kicks into that, but I do know this case goes pretty quickly there, um, but like I, like I said, I, if those things trigger you, I understand you're cutting out and wanting to come back another day. Um, well, let's say we go ahead and get rip the band-aid off and uh, get through it. All right. Resume. It is also very warm in here right now. The Fallen Idol. As always, let me know if uh, if the game is too loud, too quiet. Um, I'm too loud, too quiet, what have you. So, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? Broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. Please that's short from you. A Chevy style line took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. I wanna make homicide. You know you made it. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. You back in this world. Brings a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow wings. I was just about to talk shit on Paul Phelps trying to, you know. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. Trying to it's relate to, to people. Cold, but you'll never fit in at Central. I need a drink. I got the jitters again. She wants a five star goddamn way. So let's see if we can see the crime scene from here. Yep. 
That'd be it up there. Yeah, I should take the car. Police matters. Stop just ahead. Hey, that's the quickest drive through crime scene I've ever had. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. Tarzan's sister, June Ballard. Of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Hey. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Oh, is anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. It's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. This ain't the red carpet. Don't Get want her to cut bed. me. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Um, why a coroner if they ain't dead? Like, does the coroner, I guess, I don't know, is there a difference between a coroner and an M.E.? So I know, like, a M.E. medical examiner is, like, want to see this a medical there, examiner. Played out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. Oh? You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. What's the best part? All right, we're going to start with the purse. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. Home. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper, and he can be very proud. But you're still his little girl, and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, dear. And you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. And I wanted to be just like Carla Bl Carla Beau. And wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew... Don't start a sentence with but. But once I grew up and married your father, I realized I would have been happy in that life. I wouldn't... Would have never been happy in that life. <laughs> I married your father and I regret not running away every day. You'll realize it one day, too. I'm sure Aunt June's looking after you, but I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like? The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with stars in her, their eyes. Stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you. <laughs> Holy shit. Welcome in, Jagu. How are you today? That was louder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Stars look nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you what's right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly is bright as a button, just like you were at her age. They need their big sister to look out for them. Dear Jesse, dear, dear Jesse, Be on your toes when reading the letter. The reading, uh, I've surprisingly only fucked up like once or twice in this letter. 
Um, terrible's going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother. Camille? That's supposed to be Camille? Your loving mother, Sharjard Hamilton. It's definitely Sharjard. Oh, it's like, actually, I just thought of a thing. Just typing something up. Um, so, I'll say it as I'm typing it. This case has a lot of really, um, like, really messed up things. Those are, that's what made me think of it. Um, in, like, including, um, like, sexual violence, violence against women, drugging, um, violence against minors, like, things like that, so I'm typing out a warning to pin to the top of chat real quick. Of course, I mentioned it earlier, but I just realized when people come in, they didn't hear it earlier, so I don't want anybody to... Pin, manly unpin. Yeah, okay. There we go. Like I said, I, this is one of those ones that's a little, um, a little more messed up than I feel like most people are really prepared for. And I think this, Torn off. Where did you this find right here kind of illustrates that we're going a young to a dark place this time. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Um, unfortunately, there's also like kind of a fun example of how the physics in this go. I'm gonna regret it, but like they did such a good job making the fabric move, <laughs> but I fucking hate it. <laughs> like. Why is the fabric movement so fucking good here? It's fucking terrible. <laughs> do, 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 do. Like, why is the fabric movement so good? I also like how Cole folds them back up. No, I don't, not the panties again. Like, I, there needs to be some levity. Just like I said, this one gets a little, a little fucked. Who's not worried about that number plate, huh? Okay, Cole. Oof. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to less... Jagboo. To help distract against the horrors going on in my screen... How was your little uh, mini vacation? I hope you had a wonderful time. Drunk driver. Good Maybe to hear. Not. I'm glad it was lovely. Well, ahead I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. 
<laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. It's I against the law for somebody you. to hand you a head and for you not to do the, you know, thing. Is it real? I'm now shifting no. into hermit mode to restart after it. Understandable. Uh, Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? We holding this head with no glove. Cole Phelps does not care for like What's it made evidence. Plaster of Paris would be my or at least guess. preserving okay. evidence. So we can rule out the murder angle. No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. I'm still not 100% sure of the mechanics of this. Like, I've played this game a couple times now. And I don't fully understand how... How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? Like, how you wedge that the in into the accelerator to make it go. Because, like, look at how much space is between the accelerator and anything. Like, god damn it, camera. Like, look, the accelerator's the long one down the bottom. Ooh, why am I getting such bad screen tearing? Hold up. The head was 20 pounds of sword. It's plaster of Paris, so it's probably extremely light. Quality, quality, quality. That requires me to fix things elsewhere. Which I'm not going to do. So we're dealing with screen tearing, y'all. You know what? I know I got points. Wow. It... It will not let me use uh, an intuition point, which means I probably found all the clues. So... Somebody pointed out to me that I... Like, there's probably a good, uh, a good reason why I keep getting screen tearing. And it makes sense. It's because I think I have my monitor set to free sync, which gives me a little bit of the ability to overdrive my monitor, but can introduce tearing. And I think introducing, or having like it on the, mon or the mirrored screen okay. that y'all see... I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. Is, uh... Is part of you why it comes up. With some of my work? Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious. Oh, she clearly has a head injury. What then. about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? Beast of. I don't like. Keep out of this. That damn it, All right, doping allegation. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? I'm so excited. I ordered a wrist rest. I, I wish people so still used the term. Or I'm, I don't want people to have to use I the term. Remember. But I do love the term slip to Mickey Finn. It's such, it's such old timey like. Oh no, absolutely not. It's a serious offense um, to withhold information from the police during a criminal It's such a good like Adam. old timey kind of like slang. You're making me feel like an old man. For a while there, I was trying to make Saul Buck and a thing again. Like referring to uh, a $20 or a $10 bill as a Saul Buck. But that one never took off. No, it is not as wood. I ordered it from the same people who make my keyboard. What can you tell and us I'm about very excited about it. Car. Jessica Hamilton. I just, Jessica. Need, I just want something that's going to lift it's my wrist a little bit. To make it where my she hands are a bit more flat rather than like hooked. What more can I say? Hmm. Is it fancy wood? It looks like it is. I'm very excited for fancy wood. Hmm. I don't remember what we asked her. Dave Harris is definitely breaking the movies. What more can I say? Hmm. I. 
I think you're lying, Mrs. McAfee. I think that car just jumped into just reality yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Um, do you have any proof? I mean, yes, I do. Stop it, TikTok. I forget that I can't use enter. Miss Hamilton's TikTok. underwear were physically torn from her body. Jesus Christ, she wanted to go to Phelps, a tone it down. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Fake shrunken head. God damn it. Nope, that was the wrong button. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I am posting I a picture of it in my clips. Discord. The last thing I remember... But I am excited read. because it does look like nice wood. I love me some nice wood. That one was intentional. I'm not gonna act like it wasn't. That one was intentional. I intended to innuendo. Don't feel good about it. What the fuck did you say? Found the shrunken hand tamper in her. Don't drive. Last thing I remember was getting behind the wheel. Hmm. You are. Then you meant for your mouse. Oh, no, no, no. Like a wrist rest for my uh, keyboard. Mouse one. I have never found a mouse one that feels comfortable. But howdy, Moth. How are you today? Um. Mrs. McAfee, you're lying. I meant to doubt, but Wasting I lied. Time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet. But Good to hear, Moth. The burden of proof is with the law. Hold it up as my wrist holder. You're off the hook for now. So yeah, you can back out of uh, lo out of accusing. It's obviously I'm doing. some kind of movie. We're having a massive storm right from. now. Like and I said, there may be a point where like my internet goes I out. I doubt talent. it, but it's possible. And the talent doesn't deal with um, props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop Mark house he uses? Keep directing us directly to Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do um, with this? I was producer. outside in the rain all day. As for his I was soaked on every you layer. Just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. An ice cream cone for dinner type of night. So we hear. Are you implying that you had an ice cream cone for dinner? Because dope. Also, what flavor of ice cream? Zagboo's asking the important questions. Um, it was real bad a couple hours ago. Um, I want to know what okay, respectable. To that made him um, want to commit a double murder. Bishop it was moving the porta potties around at work. Then he withdrew it. Like the wind was pushing the, the porta potties, multiple porta potties Customized. around. This is where I end up. I thought the booth I was sitting in was going to crash bad. down on my I head. Think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied it was Coleman Gonzalez bad. back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home um, after my lawyer and I have talked to the news. Also, I just don't like working all Mr. day McCaffrey, in the rain. You are still under the influence like, of narcotics. And you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought like, you I feel like if I'm at work and I get wet, it's nice of you to be concerned. I'll be just wet all fucking day. I think we're good here. And it annoys me. Also, my patience for other people goes down a lot in the rain. I don't know where you're watching, Kowski. I see our new ride right here. Come on, get in that fucking county coroner van. Get in, nerd. We're going cornering. KCPL to car 11K, 11K. The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. 11K, Roger. En route. You know, it's great. We only have to go like around the corner, and I wonder if I can get there without hitting it. I did it. I did it. 
You had to drive through snow to Vegas? And that was your first time driving through snow? Really? <laughs> Thank you for your belief. It was valid. Um, hey, you know one of those fucked up parts I was talking about? Here comes one. We're going to interview the, uh, the girl who was with June in the car crash. Hello. Detective Phelps. So, Here like, interview with if you haven't Hamill. read the thing pinned at the top of the chat, just a heads up. Oh, yes. She's in gonna the get bad. right behind me, Detective. You can't hold me here. I have not driven no. in the mountains with snow. I don't need oh. to be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the telephone? Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after Callie, of course, they have it. Jessica was yeah, but, like... Drunk. She certainly was. Didn't you, like... Coral hydrate would be my Didn't you guess. do, like, a short time somewhere else, abuse. too? She's like, somewhere colder, like, detective. Michigan or something? I remember Someone you mentioning something planned a double murder that. to cover up a statue. I figured you would have drove through it at some point seven years that. for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Also, you like travel. Um, I guess it depends on what they had to lose. Yeah, it's, Michigan doesn't get much snow in the summer. Feeling better since this morning, Jessica. Jessica, nobody came out here. Who were you hollering at? Be a big mover, yeah. But it does get rain, which is whack. SoCal gets rain in winter. Mm. All right. Time in, 245. Patient name, Jessica Hamilton, age 15. Doctor, Dr. Elias Webley. There's a name you don't see much, Elias. Oh, she was abused. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, uh, the trigger warning at top, like heads up. It was going to get awful, and this is the beginning of it getting awful. Um, You're making me uncomfortable. Just standing around here looking at me and not saying anything. Missed all context, so I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, I didn't want to directly say what it is, but more of like a heads up, and if you need further explaining, ask. Um, but like, damn it, Cole, that was not what I meant to pick up. Because, yeah, I, I know a lot of people do have, um, huh, what's this? Probably nothing. Oh, really? Because it looks like a little tiny box of morphine. All right, let's. Hello, Jessica. Yeah, thank you uh, for being my name here. Is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I look like around there and she's like, why are you here? You just okay. keep quietly looking. Um, okay. <laughs> I am, not gonna lie, extremely uncomfortable. And, uh, like, not really trying to Can get, like, into it, you know? <laughs> it's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. What was the exact question I asked? I don't really remember the crash. Remember waking up here and nothing happened yesterday. No, I know that's a lie. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover up? I'm not lying to you. Girl. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back St home, but my father found. I like how Stefan is just like. Even if you consented, Jessica. He was like, I'm a big fan. And she was mean to him. Now he's like, cold-hearted bitch. He just turned completely. We need to get in contact with parents. parents. I know this is going to be a lie because I have a fucking letter. Oh, you don't need to worry then. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They, they were begging you to come to take home. Care of me. They were begging you to come home. You're lying, Jessica. He was ready. Exactly. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. 
Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave Cincinnati. me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I shouldn't make jokes right now. Right now is not the time to be making jokes. <laughs> Association with Bishop. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. I thought she was going to pull the hipster. I thought she was going to pull the hipster shit ago, and you've probably <laughs> never heard of her. <laughs> I don't have any evidence, I think, to, like, definitely say, but she, she's acting shady or looking directly through the camera at us. It could go either way. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McCaffrey? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. I should be playing with a controller so I get the button. That's why shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment. I they keep saying escarpment, and I've never heard that word outside Jamie, of this really. game. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. I don't know if it's a I real word. Like a yesterday, like <laughs> or a, like a common word for now. Like in nowadays time. No. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please. It's scary. But I'm not opposites. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. It's like... Welcome. Welcome in, Sylvan. Sylvan Lost traded my stream with one viewers. How was your, uh... Just a heads up, y'all. Like, Sylvan and party. Um, is a sloper cliff. Okay, they're using it correctly, then. Like, but... Just a heads up, everybody who, uh, came with Sylvan. Or Sylvan and party. Um, this is one of those cases that gets kind of messed up. We are in the middle of some messed up. So just a heads up. But thank you for coming and uh, welcome in. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. Let me shout out Sylvan real quick. I have a shout out button. And I don't know why I don't use it. Oh, because it's nonsense. That's why. You're making me uncomfortable. Just there we go. Just standing around here looking it's at me. It's not <laughs> Survive blowjobs outside? Girlie, as a matter of fact, I have survived a blowjob outside. What? So you didn't even need to tell me that. Uh, man, I guess we don't have to guess what Gurley's thinking about, eh? <laughs> Didn't leave a lot of mystery for us on that one, Gurley. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Gurley, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> ASAP. Dose might be here, too. I don't know. Okay. Well, welcome in, everybody. We're playing some L.A. Noir. Um, once again... Okay, I do want to see the log. Um, because I've lost track of what we're talking about. Um... We're on the last case of, um, difficult to say, I think her statement is true, but she's looking around like it isn't true. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. But how was, uh, your stream? I remember the mermaid. I saw you. I was in there uh, was the watching a moment movie ago, too? which I think now I'm watching my own no, stream. No, it was on the it, front but... of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. The mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. But Here's my card. If you think of anything, I hope everybody's having a lovely help, day. Just get in touch, okay? I'm trying to, okay. like, also some RTS. It might be a good idea if you went back home. You, uh, better, you Jessica. pop in and out of that one pretty regularly, right? I kind of do that, officer. What if I got the power? I feel like that's one there. that you always kind of come back to every now and again. Well, I just want to adjust something real quick. I'm trying to adjust this because it looks like horrible on a. Uh, Oh, my thing. Cole, you've got things to Stephane, do. Stefan, leave me be. Okay, I think that helped. Maybe that'll look as washed out at least. RTS and RPG for my main jams back to the town. I understand. Watching just like um, Homeworld, I feel like you pop into pretty regularly. 
I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in? Imagine so convalescing in. We that. should follow her. Okay, so here's a game type that we see a couple times, but like, there not super Come often. On. Oh, the extra. Um, but we have to tail somebody and not and not fuck it up or get noticed. Thank you for the hydrate and a daddy cam. Mallard is definitely up to something. Trying to not lose somebody, so give me one second on this. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Oh, I can't. Minutes, daddy cam. Oh, let me stand my fat ass up. There we go. Now, sweaty gamer uh, posture. I don't think she went down this alleyway. Probably. I wish I have a hair in my mouth. Get in there and see what she's up to. So, press left control to take cover at the door. Here's where we find out if Mike mouse button mapped. It did not. Find a booth with a newspaper to go incognito. Hair for DNA evidence. I I know whose hair it is. No, I don't want it. It's pretty obvious whose hair it is. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. Listen, Cole Phelps is a master of stealth, okay? I'm like, Charlotte Snake, who's that? You get this done, or I'm... Um, um, Siphon Filter, who are they? Wilson's Hotel. Um, Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch. Dude from Splinter Cell? Sam? I think it's Sam. Fuck him. Sure, I got the film. Just being conspicuous. He bends, he stretches, even ties and knots, but always returns to his original shape. Thank you for the uh, stretch extra. I knew it was extra. Oh, God damn it, Cole. Ugh. Sam? More like Sam. You're goddamn right, Sylvan. Cole Phelps, get... Cole. Eat a stand-up. So how's everybody What's else's story? Tuesday She's going? I got caught in the rain. She made a call. Sounds like, like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. Anybody else do anything exciting today? Wilson's hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping up Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Before he'd done the job properly. Did you like... I did not get a pina colada, nor do I like pina coladas. I don't like coconut. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? Um... I think she was doped out of her time. So yeah, pina coladas are not really my kind of thing. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. <laughs> Nothing to say about that one, so Bukowski. Ballard was doing someone a favor. Why did they try to kill her? You know what? We landed it. The best part is, I didn't realize I was going off the edge until the very last second. 
Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11 Gango 3, all other units go to KGPL clear. Got it. Get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Someone's about infidelity. Kind of. It's about weird happenstance. I look away for one second. Um, because that's a couple who both put out uh, classified ads, looking for an extramarital affair, but wind up responding to each other's um, ads and like rekindling their romance. I was doing so well. Car 11K responding. Go ahead. I think my car is ready to die. I think I'm stuck. You're all doing wonderful. I'm very proud of you. And I think you're going to keep doing wonderful things. More days until Top Child Snake comes to Fortnite. Is Shout Snake coming to Fortnite? I didn't. Not I wasn't shame. aware that was that a army thing. army surplus store is always getting held up. Bro, stop moving up. Okay, I think my car's dead. I'll fix your can. I heard he's an honest cop. I heard he's an honest cop. Terrible fucking driver. So there's a while ago and you did not believe me. I feel like it was less I did not believe you and more like it's Fortnite. I'll be taking this cop car. Being that I am the police. You're my new partner. Come on. You guys are now walking a beat. <laughs> this little boy. <laughs> Can you imagine a detective comes up to you in your cop car? Takes it and then it's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Is there anything I would get Ralph to play for it? Like that would be no, it. I don't know. Sons of bitches brawling around my store. We know him. I'll show you. I'll, I'll teach you not to. Sir, drop the we weapon. met him in a bar in an earlier, sir, uh, really want three times I've been earlier thing. Ain't nothing gets done about it. I played like one round. God damn. Look out, more of them. Put them down. <laughs> that fucking escalated. Yeah. Listen, if I respond to a call, everybody dies. 11 King calling KGPL. I've been involved in a shooting. Suspects are down. Um, Need an ambulance. It's 540 West 9th Street. They it's would add four. Claire Redfield before the fire supervisor. You're not wrong. The they added Alan Wake and I didn't give a shit. The guy doesn't even mention Street. dead cop. Hey, we get our car back though. Claire is literally in for me. My hand was moved over one. Wilson's apartment hotel. 11K handle three. Any other units that can assist, identify. Wait, are you serious? Claire is in uh, Fortnite? Because I might got some downloading to do tonight. Once again, I looked away for one second and there was almost disaster. She is really... Huh. Oh shit, I should be playing more Fortnite. It was so hopeful of me to think I was going to shoot that gap and fucking it work. Oh, so there's an inbreakable. I have fucked this up beyond belief. She came with Leon. I bet she does. That was a good one. I'm proud of that one. All right. I am proud of that one. <laughs> Almost made it into a parking spot, though. And I hit that dude, and he didn't even drop his briefcase. Uh, 
All right. So uh, broke the car again. We're gonna we're gonna end up with like three stars on this case. I might need a new car. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a new car. Hey, buddy, I like your convertible. Where are you go? All right, fuck it. We're taking this convertible. I'm gonna ruin this fucking car. <laughs> He's like, I like it too. Jesus, Cole! The only downside is when we're not in a cop car, we can't respond to, uh... We can't respond to, uh... Like, dispatch calls, because there ain't no radio. And we don't have a siren, so people will get in our way. Are you blind? Why do you ask? I mean, all in all, I think the driving is going swimmingly. Like, no notes. I will not be taking criticism at this time. Oh, I have to run. I guess I won't be having a, uh, a sip of my soda. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Take, take the elevator to where? You can't just be like, take the elevator. Is there only two floors? Like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Okay, was at the end of the hall. No. Okay, the other end of the hall. No, God. God damn it, Cole. Oh, it's the one with the gold doorknob. Who would have thought? I am just on the struggle bus today when it comes to, like, playing a video game. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs. Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. In the water. I'll just make this. Oh, I put new stickers on my water bottle. Forgive me. That's drink perfectly full. normal. A little just compass. Look at this and mess. This we'll take a, a quick little, search of the uh, drink. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I thought I put another one there. I, compass drink. Oh, yeah. A little. Thank you, officer. A little let's go. Horrible men. 10 out of 10. And man can confirm. I like to think I'm not horrible. Just kind of misguided and, you know, emotionally crippled. You know what? If there was ever a time to use an intuition point to reveal clues, I feel like this is it. Because there's so much shit in this apartment to fucking click on. A twenty thousand dollar check. You earned twenty thousand dollars. You don't want to know what I did to earn twenty grand. I mean nothing. God damn it, Cole. Saddle. Gay cowboys. Presented to Mark. I feel like this is the, uh... Wait, was it? We'll get back to gay cowboys. Also, the old West was kind of gay, to be fair. Oh, no, it wasn't. They're literally the same zero, which I'm going to chalk up as... They'd made one handwritten zero and then just copy and pasted it smaller. 
But I don't think it's meant to be printed. I think it's all supposed to be handwritten. I think to make it look more like handwritten and less noticeable as the like same thing over and over. All right, we found gay cowboys. Ah, five spot. Not yeah. sure this means much. No good to me. Okay, I guess it's not that. That's the clue. I really wish this map wouldn't spin with me. Easy gas money. Great That's a small a fortune in 1947. A replica of a replica. That's like a lot of money. So I actually make my zeros in a certain kind of way. Oh, there's actually already a zero drawn on this. Um, focus, damn it. I write my zeros like that. I score my zeros because I'm a fancy boy. I also score uh, score my sevens. And my ones have flags. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Hmm. Everyone's kid, but I stopped. Well, you know, we all have weaknesses. Have flags and bases. Yeah. So, like, to write a one. If my pen worked properly. I draw my ones like that. Because I am, once again, a fancy boy. I... I started doing it, like, not quite as an adult. But, like, when I was an older teen. Looks like we found our mermaid. And what then dropped off pictures? doing it. Flag and a base on a one? Exactly. Both. The Cadillacs of wands. That's Hopgood's shop. monstrous. I'm a glutton. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. You I mean, know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That's my seven. That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you it should does tell look us really good. You know. my Even in my crappy handwriting. Closer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. No, I don't trust you. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeated. So I watched the first season of that show, uh, Reacher, today. Lined up for the role. That's how it wasn't bad. June made all I, uh, although I heard a review of you know it, that's what kind of we talked me into watching it. Picture a few years back. Um... That's how I met my what the fuck were they thinking, casting Tom Cruise as Jack Reacher? Because apparently in the book, he is also described as a fucking giant. He told me he would be on set. All That's the time you save for writing ones, he'd live an extra 20 years. What makes you think I want to live an extra 20 years? Um, she's like hardcore staring at me. Writing the calligraphy one. I actually was thinking recently about uh we find about trying to teach myself some calligraphy. Bishop, if you care for him, you should make sure yeah. that we find him first. Stone tablet. I do care for him, but I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood. Speaking of tablets. Have y'all seen this fucking TikTok bullshit about the fucking Greek tablet? Like a wax tablet people 
Why is like one dude randomly like, I'm carrying this around instead of a notebook. It's like, Lorna? Marlon that's Dexter? dumb. That's so fucking dumb. Are you sure? Especially if you live anywhere that gets, like, hot. I exactly just want Ralph on Notebook Talk. I was kind of on Notebook Talk. And I did order uh, notebooks, by the way. I did decide to go with the uh, field notes. They said anything about a stone tablet. No, 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 it's a wax tablet. It's like a Greek tablet. It's like two pieces of wood with like a pocket on them filled with wax that you etch your note into and then you can kind of like scribble it out and erase it. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Fuck did she say? Yeah, I don't get it. Like, I mean, to be fair, I can. I have evidence lying, that you're lying. Mrs. Bishop, it's some kind of payoff. You know exactly yeah, it's weird. what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Um. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? I mean, there's a check on your floor, like right over there. I'm going to use the torn panties again. Your husband looks like he's torn being torn panties is the answer. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not my Yeah, I'm excited. My new notebook should Lord be here in like a day or two. Cashing place in Hollywood. Which you is nice because I'm like Hopgood at the very end of my cash. like current journal. Your husband was at a casting like, yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. So, like, my old notebook. Honestly, it was just the ease of, um... Because I do think the Midori notebooks that you were telling me about are probably better notebooks. But it was so difficult for me to find, like, a listing of a place to buy them or, like, a reasonable, like, idea of how big they were. I don't. I do, like, keep a legitimate journal, though, in, like, full-on, like, cursive. Yeah, like, to be fair, it does look like it's a nicer notebook, but this is literally how much of my notebook I have left. Like, it's like 10 pages. And I'm like, eh, it's start of the year, I might as well just buy a new notebook. Also, this annoyed me. Like, that the fucking binding broke. Because the pen slot Can is Can we get on with this, please? Hold your horses. I also have to review the thing. Um... digging around my backpack. I do have another notebook that I had to stop using because it's, uh... Because it has a law in it. We're we're all notebook uh, talk right now. Not the woman yelling at you. But she can wait her fucking turn. She acknowledges you're just sitting there staring at her. Yeah. Um... I have this notebook, which I've had for a while now. And it's a very thick notebook. And I have... This was a gift. Um, literally. I can't draw, though. Like, I'll show you a horse I tried to draw today. It's not very good. So this notebook, like, it... Like, ha like the flap holds the pen great. But the problem is... The binding used to be sewn through the back cover. It got caught on something in my backpack and ripped. And here's a picture of a horse I drew today. Yes, I, I tried to draw a horse. Actually, this one's a lot of my, like, um, my, like, notes for edit when I edit things. But, like, they're blank pages, which I prefer rule. I prefer ruled pages, not, uh, yeah, we can all, we can all marvel at the horsey I drew. Um, I prefer ruled pages, not blank pages. But, like, this is the notebook I would use, like, um, I would keep notes for, like, editing and, like, stuff like that. Got an apple on his cheek. I sh never said I'm fucking good at drawing. Um, 
But, like, this notebook, I would do that. But, like I said, this is kind of a deal breaker for me. You know? And, like, I like the sturdy leather cover. I like... It's a little thick and big for carrying around all the time, though. But I do also like how it just has a strip of leather to close it. You know? So, like, trying to find a bounce and, like... I have notebooks all the fuck over. Like... I have my uh, little, like, clue book from when I got the uh, Hunt a Killer um, boxes. I have my analog log book, which is for, like, recording, uh, recording film stuff. I have a cheap dollar store notebook that I'm, like, crippled to the point where it doesn't open right or sit right anymore. You know? Like. So yeah, I'm like. I'm flush with notebooks. And I even have like a brand new of the one that I've already been using. If you make that into a Midori. I did notice the Traveler Journal did look a lot like my uh my old journal. Or my old, like, notes book. My editing notebook, I guess. My draft book. I don't know what to call it. But yeah. Like, I do... I'm, like, filthy with notebooks. There's not ones that are convenient to, like, throw in my pocket. Or bring around with me places. You know? So I did order, like, the little field notebooks. Which they look like they're about yay big. Um, I'm gonna do a bit more research on the Midori. And that might, uh... I meant to look up what that did, but get a fanny pack. Right, so she's either lying or telling me the truth. The fuck was that facial expression? Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better. I have a uh, like a sling bag. This is a sick town. For like light, Linda. like you going sure out. You really want to know? Like. The truth is, Fish is how bad her hair looks. Them, yeah. yeah, the hair is a uh, texture. And you think that's okay? one lone solitary texture. Um, I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was, but yeah, like, I so, like, that's been a thing I've been kind of trying to like figure out. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B movie hack, but he's nothing mm -hmm. compared well, to some do have of the a brand new notebook at these right here. Big studios. My guess is. Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Oh, one second. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. But I literally have He's this bag. He's a big bag. boy, detective, this little, and like, so are you. This is Hollywood. This little, like, sling There's bag. There's always a deal to be done. That I bring with me. Places, it's real small. I think the only thing I have in it right now is a lighter. Um, I do, like, keep a legitimate journal, though, in, like, full-on, like, cursive. Yeah, like, to be fair, it does look like it's a nicer notebook, but this is literally how much of my notebook I have left. Like, it's, like, ten pages. And I'm like, eh, it's hazer bag. I call it a sling bag. bag. I've always referred to it as like a sling bag. This annoys Because it's like offset to like, like the sling over a shoulder. Binding broke. Has this little cell phone because sunglass the holder thing. Can here. we get on with this, please? Hold your horses. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Zagboo. Um, but yeah, no, like, that's a Sheepo bag I picked up at like Walmart. But I don't always like want to have a bag with me. I, I want something I can just throw in my pocket occasionally. So, like, I do have to think about that as well. All right, I need to use the telephone. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, I saw Sling Blade when I was, like, 13. It's been a while. I know it through... At this point, I think I know it through store. memes, mostly. I love them French fried taters, that kind of shit. Corner third and 
Figueroa. Third in Figueroa. Thanks for your help. Those are hard to find, too. Like, a decent bag to carry around. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer. Like, like, I can't find a bag that I like that doesn't make me look like I'm either carrying a purse. And from the stories that or, like, I'm 12. You know? Like, there's no good middle ground there. Get into the stolen car, Stefan. Mrs. Let's Bishop go. knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man brief decorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem We're gonna like try to get there without broad. No. Hurting myself she or others. Trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. But I am excited about my. Uh, I also ordered a, a uh, week planner, like a uh, fifty-six week planner thing that they sell. I've never used one before. I'm hoping it might be like help me keep a little better Look organization. Out. Remember what I was saying a minute ago about getting there without hurting myself or others. Wasn't that a fun dream? Damn idiot. Well, time for a new car. Hey, we've been here before, Dewey's. Hey, Dewey, I'm taking this fucking car. No, no, wait, there's a better car. Get the fuck out of the car, Phelps. Won't let me inside to steal the cars from the inside. Actually, I kind of like this one. Um, we have never used like a uh, planner, really. Like I've never, I've never really found it to be. Like I've only tried once or twice in like when I was Christ alive. And I never found it to be overly helpful, so I'm gonna try to like build that as a good habit of like keeping track of things. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that becomes a good habit for me. Okay, I think the wheels on this are clear. I wouldn't feel safe in a tank if you drive. That's the way to drive. I think the wheels in this car are clear. I don't think they're reflective. I think they're clear. Now look what you've done! Do you ever shut up? We got the new Space Age clear wheels. Grown men playing at being boys. Ma'am, are you just hollering shit to yourself in the middle of the street? Are you okay? Like, do you need to talk? Like, there are professionals to help. Oh, got a bear. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. Oh, got a bald guy. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. I don't trust anybody who says, I got a little soundstage out back. Look at all this crap. I've always wanted to go to a prop warehouse. It looks like it'd be fun to like just kind of so run through coming? and see things. Keep him here, Stefan. Well, this place looks fucking around. awful. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Hey, by the way, this is one of those parts coming up that's kind of real fucked up. Just a heads up, like, if you're sensitive with that kind of stuff. 
Maybe, maybe take a bathroom break. Go grab something to eat. Have a drink. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Dr. Stoneman. I feel like we've dealt with Stoneman. Or will deal with Stoneman. Hmm. Shot fired at Polanski. I mean... Fucking reasonable fucking shots fired at fucking Polanski. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to Ready for that? some creepy shit? Humor him. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. This doesn't pertain to the case. Junk. I like how Cole Phelps, everything he picks up, he's just like... Also, yes, I am controlling Cole Phelps. So, like, everything he picks up and moves Can't around is way, literally... Bro. You couldn't fit a rat through there. I look at things picking them up. Optimistic. Yeah. Well, to be fair, there's like two ways to pick things up. And like, I feel like it's like, if it's a solid object, you pick it up and do that where you kind of look at it. And if it's a not solid object, you like pick it up and, yep. Kind of give it that little shake like a pill bottle. I don't have a pill bottle readily uh, available, but I feel like those are the only two ways to pick things up. Oh God, hop good. Is there another fucking camera in this fucking bathroom? You fucking pervert. Random shit for no reason. Listen, sometimes you have to pick stuff up and closely scrutinize it. How else do you... I don't... I have nothing else to go there. Like... Hmm. A lot of heads around here. So many heads. But, guess what we also get? A military flashback. I forgot I had to press the, uh, click. Listen, I, uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cullen. So you want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cullen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cullen. And Lenny works for you. What well, it I sounds like Lenny that? done fucked up. Let me think. Oh, yeah. He's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. <laughs> I mean, how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Jeez. <laughs> By the way, I feel like in 1947... To get a phone brought to a table at a restaurant, you had to be like some kind of like big, big asshole son of a bitch. Like, Surrettes. Yeah, Surrettes. Great. You put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. Yeah, just water down a little bit of the. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out. You know, that's how morphine works. You just kind of water it down a little bit. Hey. 
I feel like hey, the NPCs in the background are you don't like, my offer? like having a conniption. The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Somewhere there's an operator going. Who is this? And who's Sheldon? Why do you want him dead? Hey, it's the dude from Mulholland Drive. Yeah. So this is where you They're like actual actors in this game. Is he hiding this from the fucking Roadrunner? Like... <laughs> I love the way he does that. Where he just kind of kicks it in. Good bucket? Okay. Doorknobs are for fucking losers. Cole Phelps doesn't use a doorknob. Jungle drums. Jungle Mark drums. Bishop. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, okay. Mark Bishop. Or a sword. I like how dainty he picks it up, too. Like, with his fingertips, not like his whole hand. It's like he's trying to minimize fingerprints, but like, going about it the completely wrong way. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Hmm. And they were drinking. They were drinking the devil. This is horrifying. Like. I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Ugh. Let me... The game lingered on that for a long fucking time. I think I got everything. Yeah, it's not letting me hit I for uh, intuition, so... I think I've gotten everything. There's supposed to be a music cue, but I did turn the music down to try to avoid uh, the wrath of YouTube. I'm stumped. Ideas? Hit Hopgood with the evidence, Phelps. See if he sings. Thanks. I'm trying to talk to Hopgood, but... Uh... You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work Two for Two of the those studio, aren't a thing anymore. Yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Hmm. I think you're fucking lying to me. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? I think the drugs, like, I think the drugs are how I know he was here. A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. 
I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. That's well, the right kind of energy for this, uh, this Phelps. Place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Whereabouts of Bishop? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Well, that's a straight-ahead stare. You know, look away at the last second when I go to hit the button. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. What's the deal with where you he and is. June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Are, are swords tailored-made? Like, I, I guess to a point, you sore, but... I'm shifty. What, uh, what evidence do I have? Yeah, it wouldn't be the car. A sword, you say? My man sent you in front. Great Babylon. I think that maybe. Yeah, if Jessica came here, June would have gone with her, wouldn't she? You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smoke call pictures the peep camera room. Setup. I know that's what it is. You made a movie. But I don't like the sound of that. Found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? Jesus what fucking money? Christ. What money? Enough of the lies. Bro, I know about the fucking I told money. you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20, 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Yeah, I'm glad they're arresting Royal this motherfucker. Advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important I don't one. like Royal. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do that dude's skeezy enough where it makes sense that Roy Earl knows him. You need to catch him. the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's mm. right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. No. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. No, they this definitely don't seem matter. to be the type to, be to uh, rough up somebody. Of justice, do they you seem boys? like fine, upstanding young gentlemen. You try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But 
Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. Naturally. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. Cole, Cole Phelps is almost Bishop too rich. Custody. Now. <laughs> you know? At least he's polite. Kind of dumb. But polite. But I'm a lot less polite than smug son of a bitch. Fucking so Stefan. Put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads he's, like you might understand. He's ready to throw the hands. The and I appreciate that about already him. Is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop. You're a you traffic stay away cop. From me. Like you're a traffic detective. He, small fry is kind of your bread and butter. back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Time for me to just terminator my ass. They shoot one of my fucking tires? I think we lost them. By lost them, I mean I murdered them all. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. They can't chase you if they've been murdered. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McCaffrey really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child boys. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Once again, I kind of feel like Cole Phelps is almost too risky. You know? That'll become more apparent as we go. Like... That's the right reaction to my driving. What the hell? I don't know why. My mind just cannot wrap itself around, like, driving using a mouse and keyboard in a video game. Like, I just, I'm not great at it. There's a the slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. A cool movie set. Mark Bishop, stop it. LAPD. KGPL requesting assistance at 8 in Francisco. The abandoned movie set. Now we're on a chase through a, through a movie court. set. Code 3, KGPL. We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. I often wonder if you can catch him early. Because there's certain, there's certain like foot chases in this where they want you to get to the end destination. But there's somewhere there aren't. Like you can catch them early. It's us or McAfee's boy, your choice. And I wonder if this is one of them. I've never been able to figure it out one way or the other. I didn't do anything. Because they like they put a lot of work into this set piece, the whole like crumbling movie set. So I gotta assume that like, they won't let me catch him ahead of time. You, you know? Bishop, that's enough. That girl made it all up. Cause he like you get close to me, he kinda hits the afterburners. Harder on your stuff. 
yourself, Bishop. It's Coombs Allard. He's blackmailing me. Hands in the air, Bishop. Move another inch and you're dead. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. Right, can I kill you him? You found me, then Maggie these goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. It's this way. Hold on, I need my hat. The cafe doesn't make the rule. You hear me? And this guy does. Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die. <laughs> There's no way out of oh, here. I lost my hat you again. Said you knew where you were going. We have to jump They took it. my hat. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Kill a cop. And it's the electric chair. Come on, it's this way. Is this really the best McCaffrey's got? I can shoot their hats off pretty easily. Hitting them in their God, fucking domes, everywhere. though. That's a difficulty. You have to get me out of here. Put the weapon down now. Oh. Just got you there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. This is insanity. Whee. Oh, what a thrill. The darkness. Anyway, Get wrong game. I'll cover you. Come on, the cavalry's here. For the love of God, how many are there? Colt gets behind cover. Let's move forward. All balance. Stay in cover. Where the fuck's this last dude? Oh. There we go. Couldn't find him for a second. Guys, I, there are no more. I can tell by the mini map. This way. I think I shot him in the ear. Now this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for stats rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. 
That is just All of that chat has made me uncomfortable. J, Detective Phelps. Developed such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Promotion. Dr. Cole Phelps. That's how that works, right? You shoot enough people, you get to be a doctor, right? He even drives a douchebag's car. I'm kidding, that's a beautiful Phelps, car. Bukowski, it's a this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm I think fine. this ends with some shitty stuff, too. The Blue Room Jazz Club. I haven't been to a jazz bar in like forever. You'll like this place. A lot of Band I used to work out. with. Uh, you like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love you it. You like jazz, sure. Cole? Yes. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop um, palaver. I used to go to a to, uh, to, that. to a jazz bar. I guess it was kind of a blues this is Phelps, and right? jazz Be place. Nice they did both. Like but it was also place. an absinthe bar. You right. It was a weird place, but like the band I used to work with played there a bunch of times. What do you think times. we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Oof. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's... Pretty beat up about Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. Just, you know, to really subtly push home that Roy Earl is a piece of shit. It was my only real friend, Holly. We went through it all. It's a doctor from the flashbacks. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, Whose accent sounds like me on? doing no a fucking God accent. Sake, was my Everybody comes out sounding like Froghorn Lake. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd yeah. like you to meet. To be Both fair, fellas, Elsa. War hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to? Fascist from the like Elsha has that classic, uh, sorry about this, Cole. Like lounge what singer kind having? of like. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Like look about her. Who do you think you're talking to, you Oof. German junkie whore? Oof! Don't you ever forget your place with me again? Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix it to the mental. I know you through my Hollywood. newspapers. Ooh. So, what about that drink, boys? Complete all cases on the traffic desk. Clues found. 18 questions correct. 16 property damage or er, vehicle damage. 5,722. <laughs> City damage. 524. So the case note is um zero injuries though. I've hit I hit several people. I hit several people and they didn't die or even get hurt. I mean Vehicles in cities can be replaced. So much vehicle damage. <laughs> um, but case notes shows us something interesting. Reaching the apartment earlier would have meant a sense to give Ma McAfee's goons what for. We could have gone, if I didn't do that, um, 
if I didn't do that street crime right before we went to the apartment, we probably would have caught them. But because I stopped and did that street crime, we missed them. And that's one of the weird, like, branching path things this game can take us. Even though I got every clue in question right, and because of my massive amount of property and damage, we only got three stars. But yeah, there's, like, little branching path stuff in this game, which is pretty neat. Um, real quick, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Um, in the meantime... Get yourself something to drink. Get yourself something to snack on. Um, or just sit here and watch the clips. Either way, I will be right back. Ralph has fucked up all of these so badly. <laughs> and I don't think I'm actually singing so much as just foreshadowing everything. Oh no! Thank you. Welcome in, Raiders. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How was your stream, Cricket? <laughs> Thank you for the raid. <laughs> oh my god, I appreciate it so much. Terrified because I haven't had a skill check in a second. Bitch, come on. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> Happy Halloween. What's our goal? That's a hell of a question for you to ask me, Jagbo. I got no idea. Like, being completely real. I got no idea. Come on, come on, yes! Yeah, I shucked that baby. Wait, no. By the way, it caught me off guard because I had forgotten that you used a picture of me holding those fucking juggling balls. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed the video. I thought you did a great job with it. It was very funny. Of course I did. I'm gonna... All right. Backity, back, back, back. Um, just a heads up, homicide? Also going to be filled with some horrible things. Um, particularly, I think every homicide victim in this game is a woman. Bring down to all 30 bad... <laughs> hey! 30 headshots! Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Retired from the police to play guitar. At the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. So, this You're is one of those things. Now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, where, if you notice, there was a six-month time jump, and we were on a different desk than automotive. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. 
Get out a to the werewolf? Sea, lads. I took it you off to fix the my hair. Been all over KGPL. Speaking of, Belmont, Glendale. <laughs> Is it not gonna? Oh, there we go. And so now we got the Sword of Justice. Golden Boy, Sunset Strip, Broderick. There are the there are the vampires if there are werewolves, and it just so happens I look directly at you right when you didn't have the hair. I know sometimes it just goes. You know what? I'm kind of feeling the uh, the outsider. I don't need the buff. Oh, that's, that's one of these, probably. Let's do, uh, let's do this one. There we go. So, isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another commendation? But the, uh, the whole, like, oh, Cole Phelps has been promoted from burglary, and it's six months later. I'm not doing this. Like, the game just decided. Hey, come on! What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the deck. Well, where does that leave you, Galloway? He was checking me saddled with a chunk Man. like you. He was looking at all that straight sheet metal he's going to fuck up. Want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Were we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads and we got nothing. I don't think this has anything to do with it. No. I There's don't. always a bit of air. 90% like... of murders are domestic, Phelps. I'm just so glad I have wheels this with time. Wife, he takes it too far be the same but cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk that's a one-off why so many women this year because of the war you should know that guy gets to kill people every day in combat comes home expected to take lip from his wife what do you think's gonna happen it's that simple like i said most of the time it is i like how big is just having this conversation with cole phelps Cole Phelps here, detective. <laughs> I did a good amount of that driving without hitting anything. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. Jesus. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Uh, yeah, this might be a bit grisly. Allow me to hover over the button. We'll be back in a moment. There, there's a part of this that I, uh, also, uh, nudity. I forgot about the nudity. Hmm. I don't think this is any use to us. <sighs> yeah, why would, why would this stiletto be of any relevance at this crime scene or this murder scene and imagine yeah there's some uh, straight up nudity I forgot Trollman this your beat yes sir what part of um, 
kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. Sure, there may be times where you just have to look at my dumb face. Some trouble, but nothing like this. Very brutal, upsetting uh, nudity. Known as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. We have some lovely double What can face. you tell me about exactly. the shoe Men's size eights. Pinker lifted and Well, my face and naked woman, the they're the same thing. Really. Um, really? This ain't gonna count as a clue? The victim's bag? Enjoyment is gained. I don't know if that's true at all. Looks brand new. Nope, not making Can't that joke. On the body. Is this the one with the really fucking dumb item? Yep, that's a hairbrush. Oh, it is. I love this fucking item, and I want one. Looks like some kind of puzzle so, or parlor game. Guess what this thing is. Anybody, I fucking dare you to guess what this is. What is this item? Like, what is it? Like, what does this look like to you? Anybody. Anybody take a fucking guess. Onion. It is not an onion. Trophy? Nope. Globe? Kinda. Kinda, but not not quite. Final chance to guess. It's a fucking lighter. The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? It's a fucking lighter. Exactly. I don't know how this machine works. Like, granted, I understand that table lighters used to be a thing. Like, there used to be a long time ago when people, like, smoked. Yeah, neither would I. There used to be lighters that you'd keep, like, in your parlor that, like, sat on the table all the time. And there were these big, chunky things that were lighters, usually, like, made to look like something or in a design. Like, they weren't, like, a pocket lighter. Like, they weren't... They weren't the kind of thing, like, you'd carry with you. You know? Like, but parlor lighters used to be a thing, and restaurants used to have them, like, when you could smoke in restaurants and all that. Like, that I understand. I've never seen one that looked like a globe and had moving parts like a globe that you had to figure out. You had to make the world accurately before you could, uh... Circumstantial. Before you could, um... Like, oh, I found all the clues, I guess. Yeah, like, I know those used to be a thing. Like, hey, so uh, we're going to look at me and I'm going to describe what we're looking at for a little bit. Help me out. First things first. Better speak to the reporting patrol. Has the scene been secured? Actually, we can... Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Be detailed. Okay. Um, Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. There is a very naked woman with a very bashed in head. I'll know for sure in an hour. Um, what caused the blunt force injury to the face? Very big blunt could force from a injury to like right here. Wrench. I'll have um, more details after the black end. eye cut like cut here she is completely naked she has hmm. fuck you interesting bd and 
T-E? Tex, maybe? Um, written in lipstick on her torso. She is covered in blood. And she doesn't even have her lighter. Which, once again, that lighter is like a table lighter. That's not the kind of lighter you'd, like, carry on your person. But once again, it, like, her titties have been in every frame of this so far. Like... What about this wound on the finger? Something removed... A she ring has a grisly wound I around her ring finger. Um... Or... Her middle finger, actually. It's her middle finger. Hmm. the writing on the victim mean? BD, Black Dahlia, Tex, your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll like I said, with you later. very we naked. We the bomba, man could die like. of thirst in a case like this. Man is orange. He is a little orange, admittedly. Also, the colors on this are kind of bad. Like, hold up a sec. We're, uh... We're gonna... We're gonna do a little bit more adjustments. Because it does look really bad. Admittedly. Um, which I don't know why. There's as much color issue... As there is... Well, fuck it. We're, uh, it's, it's only looking worse. Oof. Never mind. This is, this is going all wonky. It's all wonky, y'all. Y'all ever just have one of those days? Whee. Anywho. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I have to figure that out. Because that is kind of annoying. Especially with a game like this where it's kind of bright. Because it looks perfectly normal on my screen. Like I'm getting like his jacket's like a salmon color. Like... I don't know why I'm getting such bad, like, bright spots. Just kill the contra contrast. Like, the, my whites are so white. Like, I don't know how to fix this. Interesting. My phone was at 1% for like 20 minutes now. I mean, that's, that's a good 1%. Now I have Ralph attacking his game belt. <laughs> If I don't attack them, how will they know that, you know, they need to obey me? I will say, though, Homicide is the most interesting desk in this game. Um... I like how the game will randomly decide I don't deserve. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. All of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference. Right? Well, that Old that was a circle. I just started was. working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The 
The werewolf comes back around, and he must have known him before. He clearly has a thing for power. Power Made over Dash women. There. Why not um, power over the police department as well? Let me finish, though. Scroll. The guy opens Auto, his mouth again after six months of stupid. For some opportunity to read him about the Tanji group, so he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at five? I want to say five. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a I did like silently go through them in my head so as to not um, not spoil them. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something today. Yeah, I do think there's five. I don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area. No chance. We would have found him. Calling all cars. Houston reports officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. Sixth Street and Lindley Place. Six oh, I made the car Lindley hop. Place. And I figure roughly we're on three. Because we've already done patrol. And we've done um <coughs> we've done patrol and we've done automotive. We're currently on homicide. Oh, I just ran that dude over like four stops. This is car eleven K. They're on the help call. Because, yeah, you have um, Patrol, which is the first one where you're, like, the tutorial, pretty much. Then the automotive, which we just finished. That alleyway leads to the rear we're of the building, currently sir. on uh, Someone's gonna have to climb homicide. Up and, take him down. and I the think block. there were supposed to be, like, two Don't more deaths. Like Probably burglary and, um... I forget what people tell you the other one. Killers are the worst kind of scumbag. Yeah, are they though? Are they worse than cops? Let's be real here. I didn't even see that ladder there. I gotta imagine it's hard to like hop on, grab a ladder, and pull yourself you up like high enough. Cops? Jesus Christ, Phelps. I just killed a man via crotch. Like, I shot him in the crotch with a Tommy gun. Hey, Picker. For good. Forever. Well, well, now that you've seen me literally murder a man's dick, let's go, let's go try to solve this crime by violently weaving everywhere all over the road. I like that they've officially ran out of voice lines for Ralph hit somebody in a car. Like, I'm glad that we've burned through all of them by now.
Nope, this ain't it. Oh, because it's on the next block. That's why I can't get in there. Nope. That won't work. No, it's great. I have a real driver's license. Like, I'm actually a very good driver. Like, in real life. Oh, damn. She's got the suicide doors. Swank. What is this place? Where am I? There we go. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? I want to. Do what can I, get? I want to hang Nelson out in a Galloway. bar that looks LAPD. like this. Were you working here last I night? I fucking yes. love tiki bars and like tiki on? drinks. You can I would drink at this place. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who mm. came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. You want me to what your rye? Can you cover my shift on Wednesday? I have an office. You drove me up to Mojave. <laughs> Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. That. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Christ, officer. That's the spirit. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. was a lovely woman. Hmm. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? I think he's in oh, love with first, Celine. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. That was a bit janky. You saw him go from the end of, like, the mo-capped part to the animation. Like, the looped animation. You know him? No. Like you saw him kind of like jump in in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? Interesting. Where is that goddamn place? I think this could be a great help, sir. That's an achievement. Ring from stolen village. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Well, it was an item like Scooby Doo, so you know it's Celine herself. Probably gonna have it. Made it yeah, time? sure. I uh, I, it's way back in her flying. I'm gonna make an obvious statement. Did her husband statement. buy it for her? My experience no, that's with res like Resident Evil. If an item isn't check. um, isn't a 2D background, it's a 3D object. It means that you probably can interact with it. Like in Resident Evil, you, know, you can always tell like stuff you can push because they look different. You know. Yeah, I don't have anything. I think to... you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. I don't have okay. any evidence. So I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. I knew it. Yes, I always have. Doubt. Your old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. 
He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. As far as you know, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna doubt. I'm, I'm a doubting you, so my dude. So if it dude. wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed doubt. her. How do you feel about that? Stole two the attitude, to doubt. I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual, but he refused. Jacob refused. She picked some night to push him over the edge. I uh, I, rang him back I actually kind of had an experience with something like that. Got no answer. I used to date this girl. Thanks, I'm going to keep oh, everything extremely vague. One more thing. Would you have an address um, out of for respect Celine? for the other person? Um, 142 North Union Avenue. Like, I'm of the belief that you don't cabs share that. certain details without the oh, other wait, person saying it's okay, and I have no interest in asking if it's okay. Um, so I just won't share the details. Um, but I used to date this girl, and it became fairly obvious that a person we Let's knew had a thing for her. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Um, and I swear, like, if somebody were to ask them, I'm sure they would Nothing think that I had no idea. But it was, like, pretty obvious. Thank you, Philly. I mean, for many reasons, thankfully, Operator I was not married to her. KGPL. Um... But awkward nonetheless. Well, yeah, it was awkward and weird, but like, like I'm not a jealous person, so it didn't bother me that much. But it was more like, you're not as subtle as you think you are, my dude. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. But it's one of those things where I feel like you kind of. Hey, honey, what time did you get off wooden table? I feel like you notice it, but you don't actually ever say anything about it, you know? Oh, God, my wrist is vibrating you know like a motherfucker. You can drive. Bye. I have to charge before. Where are we then. headed? This is a short case, so we're going to kind of burn through it. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer. I like how he that drank. Out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as I like how he drank it. I'm like, you drive. Let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirst offender. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in this game out loves. The clues that would have led to her fucking yeah, well, loves you'd bring up the Elizabeth Short murder. Betty Short be alive, the Jap would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. I gotta clean my monitor. You ever look at your monitor and just notice a bunch of little, like, specks all over it? Like, just like dust that kind of, like, accumulate it? It's been a little bit since I cleaned them. They, actually, I need to take my computer apart and, like, clean it. You know? Put my GPU and RAM into the dishwasher. All that good stuff. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Music is getting kind of. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint.
Somebody creeped the joint. Family burnt to death. Oh, God. Cops say house fire deaths are suspicious. Husband, wife, two young children killed. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? What the you fuck? said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? Well, shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, Biggs. You ever pick up a newspaper and get a vision of something happening? No? Just me? Okay. Pop-out mobile window is not working. Uh-oh. Family burnt to death. Size knives. Hmm. Above average for a lady. Actually, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna show all clues. Okay, so somebody broke from outside to inside. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Y'all know what that means. Hold on. Ooh, bring up my inflation calculator. How much was a $30 suit? That is a $426 suit. Nowadays. $426 for that suit nowadays. I feel like that's like, that's not a lot for like a really nice suit that's really a good price for like an expensive suit but that's more than like i would pay if i was a cop for a suit it speaks to motive you know it's like that's your work clothes against it being a husband if you sober up you can find me at apartment 2 1050 huntley drive tell missouri or michigan 2221 jacob I don't know why my man went to like went to Missouri. Not the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, pal. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number five sixty four. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 and 142. Tiffany Chuck. Which, by the way, this uh, doesn't look like a Tiffany's box. This isn't Tiffany's boxes kind of uh, a certain color. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring and, looks distinctive. And we can see her ring. All right, we found all the clues, so let's, uh... Exactly what we're trying to do here. Okay. All right, get in the car. Don't worry, I'll drive. like a fucking pro. I'm gonna stay in my lane. I'm not gonna hit anything or anyone. We're gonna obey all traffic law. KGPL 20 Century Unit. The citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Century Unit identified. 
Not a hit a single thing. No sure. We're not gonna hit anything or anyone. No car damage. Don't you look at that? Alright. Let's go report to a man with a gun. Grimmer. The Grim Reaper needs his blood. What the fuck are you doing? All laws obeyed. No damage. No problem. No woman, no cry. No, I do not have any more bananas. No cars hit. Perfect. Perfect precision. Perfectly well, everything is a safe drive. You're goddamn right, LA. Like. God damn it, this isn't a throughway. This is car 11K, go ahead. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He That's why you don't help. And hightailed it through the parking lot. Have you seen Get those going. dumb videos on TikTok? It'll be like... Oh, I think there's a car chase. That's a cool looking car. Um, it'll be like somebody robbing a like jewelry store in a mall. And then some asshole comes on, like, stitches the video, and he's like, Why, this is what's wrong with people today. Why is nobody hopping in to help? It's like, no, I'm not Batman. It's like, I do not care if the fucking jewelry store in the mall gets robbed. Like, of all the things in my life to worry about, that is not one of them. I'm not Superman. Things can hurt me. Yeah. Put the weapon down now. Oh, you're so dead, my dude. Cole Phelp kills hostages. I hate that I have to do that, cars. Like flash before size, you barrel guns. KGB L20 Sentry in a the citizen reports a man with a gun. On Grand between 4th and 5th, any sentry unit identify. Let me skip. You've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up you my You killed stand. the hostage. This guy tried to help and well, got a bullet for his problem. Well, you can't, can't use a human shield the parking lot. if going. I kill the hostage. Yeah, he ain't a hostage no more. He's a body. All I'm saying is, it was a valid strat. <laughs> Biggs, we lost your hat. Why is there this whack? Why is there this wacky fucking like roadblock? the way. Oh, he be leaning the hell out. You come any closer, I'll pull the trick. <laughs> Put the weapon down I think I've made now. it pretty clear I don't give a shit about hostages. You fucking asked for it. I think I shot him what in the, the hand. Hell? What are you waiting for, Phelps? Up and at him. Then why didn't you shoot the hostage? I mean, guy holding the hostage. <laughs>
All's well that ends well. And by that I mean everybody's dead. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code 4, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units be advised. The suspect is down on Grand between 4th nice. and 5th Streets. Repeat, the suspect You're behind is down the wheel. code 4. Come on, Rashi. Get, get us there in one piece. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was definitely on purpose. 100% on purpose. Definitely not an accident. Go in hard. Follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. I fired right as the cutscene started. You just hear a shot rang out. Rang out. I kicked in the door. Oh my god. That's great. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> Police, open up. And by open up, I mean open up emotionally. Oh, oh I guess I do mean open up emotionally. Sir, I'm sorry. We're going to find a theme with all of these homicide murders. And I want to see how long before you can uh, you can suss out for yourself what that theme is. No, it'd be... Uh, Probably next, uh, probably Tuesday or uh, Thursday. It'll probably be Thursday by the time you will you would realistically be able to see the trend. You might be able to get it like by the end of this case, realistically. Cole Phelps, master at coloring. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the No, it'll take me that long. Oh, pencil effect. Yeah, I actually do really like how that came out. But, like, you can't be a jackass like me and just kind of, like, I'm going to color the entire seat. Hmm. Size 11s, you say. Size 11s. Interesting. He has the feet of an adult. Are those two chickens? Or like two people in like flowing gowns? I'm not sure. Okay, can't go outside. Initiative. Hmm. I doubt it. Okay. I'll defer to your detective skills, Phelps. Which, by the way, I feel like you can't complain about your wife not quitting drinking and have a bar. Like, you clearly just moved in here, so the first thing you set up was the bar? Well, you're screwed, buddy. Need to connect that. All right. Let me see. Yeah, we got everything. Okay, I can stop looking for shit. All right, movements so of the victim. Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. 
We know she went to the Bomber Club. The bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. So you knew where she was drinking. You lying son of a bitch. I a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. When did you last see her? All these bitches be thing. lying. Last they night. think they can lie to Cole Phelps. Uh, I went to see her. We Cole talked. Phelps, human lie Please. detector. Got a little out of hand. I left. Okay, he's gazing into my soul and making some very suggestive mouth movements. So I think he's telling the truth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I gotta remember to like explain I like why I'm doing things in this game. Because I feel like I'm just kind of like hitting a button before I ever like a explain. Later. And to be fair, some of these are like I remember around nine. whether or not they're the right answer. But like I feel like a lot why of did you things, kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about which it. Which these are gonna get harder, by the way. That's a like I do if I remember correctly, how much I just about when they start getting really hard. Gave up on my wife. Um I feel like I have evidence. Yeah, I, I think you have given up on your wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? I mean... Death threat note. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to Not calm much down, better. down, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your trouble. Kill my own wife? He was a loss in a trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Big's kind of deserved it. Okay. This doesn't look good for you, Jacob. What's this bunkum? Oh, glass. Glass is all fucking... Uh, Big's over there fucking one punch. He's fucking out. Call it in and get a squad car dispatch. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. I Me mean, kind of deserve that one, Biggs. What the fuck's... Oh, there it is. Operator, give me R&I. &I. Putting you through now. Oh, shit. That just Felt straight up Kellogg's cornflakes in the background there. I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. The closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Jesus. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License Fuck. was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. 
Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Hmm. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Mendez's apartment. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. Mendez, apartment 16. Apartment 16. Fourth floor. Here. The apartment's up on the top floor. Kind of figured it was. It's literally the last apartment listed. I didn't think it was in the basement. Actually, is California one of them places where they have basements? They got basements in L.A.? Don't bother knocking. Just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. I feel like we uh, probably should have had a warrant or something. Doesn't tell me anything. Tells me he doesn't refrigerate his eggs. Oh, there's an old toaster. I don't think we're getting anything out of those. I would like to go to bed, so we're, we're going to wrap up soon. We're at the end of the case, though. Oh, a fucking handgun. <laughs> Just on your dresser. Gonna help us. Cole, Cole, don't don't look at guns like that. Um Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. So I think we may have found some uh some good old fashioned evidence here. Consistent with Celine's injuries. And a socket wrench covered in blood. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? I don't LAPD, get people who smoke cigars. Like, people who smoke cigars like their cigars. Not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheel. Like, I like the, right there. the occasional cigar. But, like, it's such a commitment. Like, I don't have 45 minutes to smoke every, like, every time I have, like, a craving. Like, it's so wild to me, the idea of, like, smoking a cigar, like, normally. But I guess you smoke, like, far less if you smoke cigars, maybe? Alonzo. Oh, last time I had a scar, I was in New Orleans. I got myself one to uh, while we we're on Bourbon Street. Get in and drive. Are you sure I should be driving here, uh, Biggs? Oh, 
I'm kind of a menace to everyone. his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Popping tire. Shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. I think we got him. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Oh my god. Show me your hands. I think we got him. Mission accomplished. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Good, you, you should want a lawyer. Demand a lawyer. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people... I love this. ...and the press of this city demand it. Hands big to drink. Keeps going for himself. And Cole is just there. Case report. Clues found 17 of 19. So we missed two clues. We got six out of six questions. $4,199 worth of vehicle damage. $423 worth of city damage. Um, three stars. The suspect is in the bag, even if you did leave Jacob sweating in central lockup. I should have gone to central lockup first. I missed a chance to, uh, to do another interrogation with Jacob that I think would have given me some more info and more clues. I think those last two clues are things I would have, uh, I would have ascertained from him, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I also could have missed two clues in the apartment. Um, but either way, yeah, okay. We did all right. Could have done better, could have done way worse. Somebody got arrested. That's what's important. But, I think that'll about do it for tonight. Once again, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate every one of you. And as always, thank you for hanging out. I don't know why I said as always, and it kind of fucked me up. Um, speaking of fucked me up, you can find me at any one of these places up here or the easily clickable links right there in the chat or down in the description below if you watch me in the future on the YouTube. Um, we will be back Thursday with more L.A. Noir, where I, once again, will be wearing a detective getup and solving crimes and driving like a maniac. Anywho. I hope you all have a lovely middle of your week. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. I will see you on Thursday. Have a good night. Bye. It's a come on. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Mama said I got a bad There we go. So apparently Rebecca can do this by herself if you just kite the tyrant enough. Oh shit. So, oh, it doesn't come up on that for capturing window. Um, I just got the.